Frank and I really care about the restaurant scene in Cincinnati. And we know that it's been hard uh, during the pandemic for restaurants to stay open. And I know you've made a conscious decision and I've made a conscious decision to support restaurants as much as we can. Because, uh, because they're doing it right. They're doing it safe and they did it right and safe even before. Right. I mean, I, mean, I think out of everything, the restaurant business was everybody, that's the most you know eyes on when it comes to safety and whatnot, even before the pandemic. But there are some great restaurants and this is one indication of restaurants that are opening here right. at the Emory and Marymount in a space that has been vacant for a very long time. Right, and, and, and if you know anything about this area of town, um, I think it is restaurant challenged. Yes. There aren't a lot of restaurants and this is exactly what this neighborhood needed, a restaurant like Emory uh, in Marymount to attract people who live in Fairfax or Madisonville or Terrace Park or even Indianville. Yeah, and, and something that, you know, where you can come in and grab in you know, down in the lounge area, grab a burger, yeah. grab a lobster roll. Cause you know, it's got seafood oriented, seafood focused, but yet lots of options. Every time I've come, I found a, I just, I'm, I found a different option that is non seafood. So Frank does not like seafood. He doesn't like things that come out of the ocean. There's anything? Not. They're kicking me out of here now. Do you like anything? No, I don't like any seafood. <laughs> So, but I would, love this place. Yeah, you would think that he wouldn't want to come here, but there are so many different options other than seafood that will, you know. So the first, the, the, the pork tenderloin, phenomenal. A nice quinoa based on there. And uh, I believe these are like little like sweet potato, little carrots or something. I think so. Yeah, sweet potato. And then the short rib ravioli, a fantastic appetizer. And not pictured here, I actually was here just the other night. Right. The burger is one of my favorites in town. So it's, it's good for like, casual fine dining, or it's good for just grabbing a burger yeah. when you come home from work. Yeah, and even fine dining, like I think fine dining now is, fine dining isn't the old school white tablecloth, you know, stuffiness. Correct. Fine dining is a beautiful evening, good friends, good food, and that's what we have right here. Should we start digging in a little bit? Yeah, so I have the, this is the, uh, what is this, the Emory House Salad? Yeah, that's the Emory uh, House Salad. I have a trout uh, with smoked trout ravioli. This is actually one of my favorite things uh, in terms of of raw fish, uh, hamachi is my favorite. That's the only thing I will really get when I'm in um, the Japanese restaurant. That's real thin. Uh huh. And uh, it's a crudo, so it has some other things with it, and it looks really good. And uh, you can't go anywhere without talking about dessert with Frank. Well, uh, and you little, too. The, I do not. You eat dessert, but not that. Not like you do. That's true. Frank I and I. Frank and I used to always. Uh, Especially when we both worked the morning show together. <laughs> we gained a lot of weight. And we gained a lot of weight, <laughs> and we were having a, a really hard time with one of our coworkers for a little stint there. So Frank and I- oh, she doesn't watch this. So Frank and I would, would get together and, and try to figure out the situation, and we would do, do it over a couple of drinks yes. and uh, some food. And we gained a lot, we gained a lot of weight. A lot of drinks but, and a lot of food. But, but, but the, the great thing about this friendship is that it kind of was nourished over food mm -hmm. and it's been sustained over food. Over food. Whether we're eating somewhere like this or just catching a slice of pizza uh, downtown or something, Clifton. Was it, what did we do? Was it Cincinnati? Went to the restaurant? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. What was it? Restaurant Week. Yeah, you Not Restaurant Week, Restaurant Fest. What, what, there was some festival. Like Correct. That. Yes. It, it was you, me, and Megan. Yes. Mangello. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, food has always been a big part of this relationship. One of the nice things, too, I like uh, about the, the, the space, the, the space downstairs is more like kind of a, Hubby, yeah, sure. You know, neighborhood, and, and I, I made the, the statement that when you walk in, you it, you kind of feel, and this is a, a positive statement. It's been here for a while. Mm -hmm. Sometimes new restaurants just look new, and they don't fit in with the surroundings. Yeah. Marymount is a very, um, oh, it's a very established town, right? And has a unique feel and unique look uh, when you come in. And this fits it. And perfectly. this fits it identical, perfectly. You got, the, and you even have a cool little fish tank back here. Yeah, which is nice. In fact, I think the room we're sitting in here too can be used for like private events as well. The other thing is a lot of times when you go to a restaurant and the bar is nearby, mm -hmm. the bar can get kind of loud. Yep. And uh, here, since there's, there's sep the spaces are separated by floor, um, we didn't have a problem hearing each other. No, and there is a nice lounge bar on the second floor as well. Uh, there like, is, you're yeah, right. Yeah, right, uh-huh. You were yeah, with uh, like a little um, like corner table. How's the trout? The trout is delicious. Um, it's perfect. One thing I like about the pork is I think, of, I remember as a kid, like my parents would overcook the pork. Oh yeah. Like back in the early days. Like, I mean, that thing, pork can be, pork is allowed to be pink. So as Frank talked about pork and how we didn't like the way his mother cooked it. Cooked, thank you. Growing up. Mm -hmm. um, Frank was the first person where he, where outside of watching it on TV, he would take a pork tenderloin 
and sear it uh, on the stove top and then put it in the oven and finish it that way. Yeah, that's the first time I knew that. I was like, oh, this guy's a really good cook. At that well, time, you I wasn't. Told me that. At, this, at that time, I wasn't a good yeah, cook. Yeah, the guy, the guy like scoured his hand making sweet potatoes. Like a huge scar. He's like, I have to get a sweet potato pan. I'm like, what is a sweet potato pan? I am now, however, now I do cook more. And Frank was probably the inspiration for that. No, this pork tender one is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Put the quinoa on here and the vegetables. And you, and you feel, I, I think one of the things on the menu too, there's different flavor combinations that yeah. you usually don't think about. Like I, the whipped feta is fabulous and it has almost, I don't know if it's a fig or something in there that just kind of blends it all together. A little yeah. saltiness, a little sweet. It's very good. Um, and we're not at work, so they got us two little cocktails. Mm -hmm. This here is what kind of punch is this? That's the... Emery, is it Emery Punch? Emery Punch. I'm just, that, that would be the automatic. It's kind of like a, a tiki drink. <laughs> yeah, it's a rum It's a rum punch, mm -hmm. which is good. And I just got the Clay, Claiborne uh, Manhattan, which is fabulous. And I love a nice Manhattan. And Frank has um, recently moved to this moved neighborhood. Here, so I can walk here. Yeah, so tell me about what that's like in terms of you now being a resident and uh, eating at one of his newest restaurants. Yeah, well, I mean, I like it because in the business we know when things are opening up and we, oh, like we yeah, preview yeah. stuff. But then you start to hear hubbub around the town yeah. and everything is very positive. It's great to have options. Correct. And I think when new business comes into anywhere, whether it's a restaurant, a bar, whether it's a, a small boutique shop, mm -hmm. it enhances the other businesses around it. Right, agree. As well. Because when I talk to um, the gentleman, his name, Jim Mooring, mm -hmm. who owns Holy uh, Grail. the Holy Grail, he was one of the first restaurants, if not the first restaurant, to he open up the at the first. banks, he right? Was the first. Yep. And as all the other restaurants and bars and businesses started opening at the banks, I asked him, I said, is this cutting into your business? And he goes, no, it's actually making it better, mm -hmm. right? Because it becomes a destination. Same thing. Because if you go to one place and you like the area. Correct. You can you walk might, right. to Greater. You may want to go there twice a week, but maybe you don't want to eat at the same place every other, every mm -hmm. three or four times. And it's good to do, then go try other places. Agreed. Which is great. But the boot here is really good. And, yeah. and when we were asked to do this, um, we had already given our review of the restaurant and we thought it was fantastic. Yeah, on the opening night, yeah. And one thing I like too, I mean, they've been open, what, for now, like a month? Mm -hmm. A little over a month. Yeah. Um, the one thing I think is fantastic is the, the fact that it's very consistent to when we ate, had these same meals mm -hmm. a little while ago. And the other thing is, this is great. I know it's getting better and I know the cases are going down, but you know, up we're still pandemic. living yeah. uh, during a pandemic. And I remember telling someone, I said, I will go to restaurants as long as I feel safe there, right? right? Mm -hmm. I went to a restaurant at the height of the pandemic and there were people sitting inside. They weren't, they weren't like wiping down the table yeah. between groups. And I left there and I never been back, right? right? This restaurant felt safe mm -hmm. when we were here earlier, Absolutely. when it just opened, uh, there were dividers up. And I think as long as restaurants make you feel safe, you'll be back. Like I was in, I was in here the other night, and it's honestly, if I didn't see the plexiglass and and the you know the masks and whatnot, yeah, the amount of people in a very safe way, obviously, mm -hmm. but people were coming in the door, they were seated, they were respectful and stuff. It kind of felt like 2019, T totally. You know, where yeah, I think too that's gonna that's gonna help even after all of it. Because remember back in the day, like oh, the new restaurant, so everybody's crowded in. You're yeah. like on top of each other. I think people want a little bit more space and a little more. Dine, not fine dining, but a little more room to breathe well, sometimes. And, and I do think this too, because, you know, living in the last year has been difficult for for everyone. Uh, you know, my mom hasn't left the house uh, yeah. other than to go to Costco during the early morning hours. Yes. Uh, luckily, she just got her first COVID shot. Well, that's good. Yeah, totally. Yes, yeah, very good. So uni. we can see, we can cut. Uni, right? Uni, yes. UD, you can see that you can see the <laughs> end. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. right? So we're almost there. And I feel like once the pandemic lifts, like it's gonna be like the roaring 20s again. <laughs> like people are gonna be ready to go out and yeah. dance and get married, have weddings, mm -hmm. uh, go out to eat, you know, hug your friends again. Yeah. Right, because now it's weird when you we see people- We have no problem spending our money again. Correct, correct. We have all this surf like, you know, you might, I joke, but we were, I was saying like, even with the travel last year, like we saved so much money now. Right. I think people have been like kind of 
in their homes for so long and been very careful about mm -hmm. where they go and who they see, I think once things fully reopen, everybody's gonna be ready for a huge party. And I'm looking forward to that. And I think that's why it's important to make sure you support the restaurants during the pandemic so they will be around so after here. the pandemic. Mm -hmm.